Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. This week I used a Stampin' Up! stamp set called Elements of Style. You can see it right there. Um, I took the flower uh, stamp from this set and I inked it up with some elegant eggplant. And I stamped it onto uh, some, actually I used Nina. Now that I think about it, I probably should have used Stampin' Up! because I have Stampin' Up! ink here. Um, but anyway, so I stamped it an elegant eggplant and then I'm measuring 5 eighths of an inch twice on each side and that's because I want to be able to line up some masking tape so I just put two post-its together here and I'm just uh, putting it right across the paper under those two uh, little marks that I made. I am taking some bundled sage distress ink in my ink applicator and I'm going to apply the ink heavily around the edges and then I'm going to get lighter as I move toward the flowers and I'm just going to stop right before I get to the flowers. And I'm taking my time with this because, um, first of all, it's a small area and um, I just don't want to get any of those square block um, forms from my ink applicator. So as long as you move really slowly, you use just a little tiny bit of ink, let, ink at a time and you put very, very little pressure on your applicator. It goes slowly, but eventually you'll get it done and it'll look really nice. Alright, the next thing I did was I took some masking tape. This is Eclipse masking tape. And it's just some old tape that I used on some other projects and I'm just cutting it up into pieces and I'm covering up my flowers so I don't get any of the, the next stamp that I'm going to use on it. This is the En Francais stamp from Stampin' Up! Again, it's a background stamp. It's really pretty. It's got this cursive writing on it. And I'm inking it up with bundled sage again. And that's so I get a, a tone on tone. And I, you can see I took a baby wipe and I just kind of randomly wiped a little bit of the ink off before I applied it. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to ink it up and then use my baby wipe. Oh, I forgot to put my masking tape down. And it doesn't have to be exact, I'm just generally covering up the flowers. And then stamping it down. Now I'm going to remove all of this masking. You can see it makes a really nice line, even if you just use a post-it. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on these flowers. So I'm taking Perfect Plump and I'm squeezing the um, ink pad so that I get the ink on the lid of the ink pad. And I'm taking a blender pen, which is a colorless pen. It's got some, some kind of liquid in it that makes the ink blend. Um, and you can see I'm just making sure it's clean by uh, applying it to a post-it quickly. And so I'm going to dip my, my blender pen into the ink on the top of the, uh, of the ink pad and then I'm going to go over the dark areas of the flower and you can tell they're dark because just the way the stamp is created so it's got these dark lines where the shadow areas are. So I'm going to apply my ink directly to those lines as you can see and then when you first start using, after you dip it into the ink, it's kind of dark it applies very dark and then as you continuously apply it, it gets lighter and lighter. So once I get it to where it's pretty light, then I'm going over the white areas. And that's why I get a light color on the white areas and a little bit darker where the uh, black lines are on the stamp. So you, as you can see, it's pretty dark right there. And it's too dark still. Now it's uh, good enough to cover that white area. So I want the, the white areas to be pretty light. And Perfect Plum is just a shade lighter uh, purple than Elegant Eggplant. So that's why I use that color. So I'm going to show you one more flower here. I'm just preserving the shadow areas. Alright, so I'm going to do that to all my flowers. I skipped through all of that because it's the same technique. And uh, now I'm going to take my blender pen. I'm going to just use a piece of 
post it just to wipe it off and as you can see it just goes back to clear and I've used this pen so much that the tip is dark uh, but it doesn't have any color when I write with it so um, even though it might get stained it's still pretty clear. Now here's Wild Wasabi and this is one of the new ink pads. I get a lot of questions about the new ink pads um, but they work basically the same way. It's the same exact ink that's in there so it's going to work the same way. So I'm going to do the leaves. Now, um, because I stamped this in Elegant Eggplant, it's not an ink that's um, that's not going to blend. It's not a permanent ink. So um, I'm just taking my Wild Wasabi and I'm coloring in the white areas with my blender pen. If I color in over the dark lines of the stamp, which have been stamped in Elegant Eggplant, um, the leaf is going to turn purple. So I'm going to be really careful about that. Once I've once I'm done coloring all the white areas with my blender pen, I'm going to go in with a wild wasabi marker, and you'll see that in just a second here. Um, and I'm going to color the shadow areas of the leaves directly with a marker. And I'm just cleaning my blender pen again. And here's my marker, and I'm going to use the brush tip. There's two tips to this pen. I'm not going to worry about blending. I'm just going to generally go over those dark areas. I'm going to speed this up. And then finally, I'm going to take a Daffodil Delight marker and I'm just going to color the centers of those flowers. Alright, now I'm going to work on my sentiment. And this is the uh, Everyday Sayings, which I use for almost all my cards, I feel like. Um, and I'm using VersaFine ink because it works great with clear stamps. Now I'm working on my hummingbird. Now I'm taking an embossing buddy, which is just kind of a pouch of powder, and I'm going to apply it to my paper here before I stamp it with a Versa, with Versamark. And the embossing buddy will make sure that none of that uh, powder sticks outside my stamp. And it's really important on this stamp because it has um, flower etchings kind of in it, and I don't want those to get all messed up. Now I have all my pieces, I'm going to put them together. Now here I am um, ruining my card because uh, you could see like one one hundredth of an inch of the white paper underneath. <laughs> so I just ripped it off and, and redid it and it came out okay luckily. I used some black Stampin' Up! paper uh, and that's why it was really thick and it didn't rip toward the front surface. Anyway, so then I used a dimensional to pop up my hummingbird and that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.